from the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. So arriving on the heels of your bang for your buck microphone champs, the Bifaley 414 and the V10 is the Bifaley V47. Now I've had this microphone for a couple of months now. The reason I did not put this microphone on camera uh, until now is because, well, all right, let me, I'm um, full disclosure. This microphone arrived to me brand new and the kit. All right. So the kit is amazing, right? The body is, is top flight, uh, super solid, comes with a pretty good shock mount, metal shock mount. Um, and this, this actually, this shock mounts are great because you can use a lot of other different microphones with it. I like the cutaway front on the shock mount. So that's pretty good. You get that. And you also get one of these, uh, you know, knockoff Hakan Hacken pop filter things. And it works perfectly. People poop at parties. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's a pretty good kit that you get there. But the microphone did arrive with one little problem. It was wired out of phase. Now, I first noticed it. I plugged it in. I'm like, why does this sound all weird and woofy in the low end? It just doesn't, doesn't sound right. It didn't sound clear. And I was like, oh, wait a second. Hold on. Go over the preamp and flip that phase switch. And I'm like, oh, there it is. So when it was wired, pins one and two were wired incorrectly coming off of the um, off the circuit board. Easy fix, right? Like two minutes with a soldering iron, just just change those two points on the bottom of the soldering uh, of the of the PCB. No big deal. And then I came to uh, discover <laughs> that also Jar uh, and uh, Rick Malloy over here at the Microphone Assassin Discord server. Their V47s, which arrived kind of all around the same time. I think we all got our V47s within the same two-week period. They were all wired out of phase. They all arrived to us wired out of phase. That was three out of three. Um, I reached out to Bai Faley with my uh, observations and recordings, the evidence, and um, I heard nothing back. So, uh, you know, I'd, I, um, I inquired again a, a couple of weeks ago, and... Still nothing. So I don't know if, um, I don't know. I was told they were going to look into it. I don't know if these were the only three microphones to come off the line uh, with the phase reversed or if it's uh, endemic to all of them coming off the assembly line, which is why I have not uh, put this microphone on camera yet until now. But I wanted to, uh, with this explanation, um, because I'm going to, I'm going to mod this microphone, although it does sound pretty good like this. It's definitely usable. Um, you know, and if you use some kind of noise abatement technology, like a gate or a C-Vox or et cetera, et cetera, you know, you can get a pretty workable sound. I could, I could work with this sound. Um, but, uh, I'm going to mod it. I'm going to put an Arian Audio Flat K47 in it and, uh, go from there. And then I'm going to come back. Um, I'm, I'm recording this ahead of time and I'm going to do that, that surgery and I'm going to come back and I'm going to present this to you at a later date. And through the miracle of editing, we're back with the now modified Bifaley V47 with the RAN Audio Flat K47 capsule in it. And listen to how great this sounds because all I did was swap out the capsule. I did fix the phase, um, which was easy. So all you have to do is go to the PCB and switch the red wire and the white wire on the bottom of the PCB and just unsolder one, unsolder the other and switch them, solder them back in place and Bob's your uncle, whatever that actually means. And so uh, the flat K47 capsule on this circuit, it's a decent circuit. It's not, uh, it's not terribly noisy. Um, it's Seems like it's pretty well made, but it's a good combination. The flat K47 capsule doesn't have, it's very neutral. It's very flat. It doesn't have uh, a pronounced uh, mid bump in it. Um, and overall it feels, it feels very warm and it feels really, really nice on this, on this particular circuit on really pretty much, I think on any flat circuit, it's going to sound, it's going to sound really great. But this right here, what you're listening to right here is about, I would say about, $250 worth of stuff. And for $250, right? So the Bifaley V47 on its own, okay, not great. The capsule, the capsule blows. The original capsule kind of blows. Um, what you get is uh, like really more of a, a V, V sound, right? You don't get like a lot of low mid in there. You don't get a lot of body in there. You get high end, you get low end. And so it feels, you know, you can, you can work with it. It's okay. It's not terrible. Um, you know, currently it's $100 on Alibaba with shipping. So 
Yeah, 150 bucks, right? Maybe about 130 for me, 100 maybe 150 for you depending on where you live. Um and you know, these prices are going to change. This microphone is going to get more expensive because this is definitely worth 125, 150 bucks <laughs> easily stock. It's so well made. It's it's really it's very well made, the the body. And so all I had to do is swap out the capsule and fix the face. But swapping out the capsule wasn't that easy. And I'll tell you why. Um, here, let me show you the stock. Now, this is where we get into DIY nerdiness. So it, what? in order to use the flat K47, you have to do a little surgery. The stock mount on the Bifaley V47 looks like this. The camera won't focus on it, but you get an idea, right? So this stock mount with the four screws on the bottom... This will accommodate many, many 34 millimeter uh, capsules, even 32. It's because, see, you can see it has like little slots in there, right? You can see my skin tone through there. So it makes it easier to accommodate different uh, width uh, holes on your capsule. Now, again, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then this is, this is going to be over your head. You're going to have to learn a little bit more, okay? <laughs> Not to be a dick about it, but this is some difficult stuff coming up, okay? To put a flat K47 and get the sound requires a little extra surgery. So it goes from being a simple mod. If you just get a regular CEK12, CEK12, you know, edge terminated capsule, it will fit on here, most likely. I would say 99% of them will fit on here. It's an easy operation. The back, plier, the back plate wire, <laughs> the back plate wire is already soldered to the board. All you have to do is disconnect it right? Unscrew it from the mount and screw it into the new capsule. And then solder the signal wire from the, from the capsule to basically the point on the board where the previous signal wire capsule was soldered. Very easy. But to use the Arian Audio Flat K47, it's a wider saddle. It requires a wider saddle. The holes in the capsule are a little wider than this. I don't know if you can really see this. How can I, how can I compare this? All right, there you kind of get an idea, right? So you can see, even though this is in front of it, you can see that the, this, this is the saddle for the flat K47. The holes are a little bit wider than this. So this is not going to work for the flat K47. So you're going to have to, the flat K47 does come with a saddle, but you have to get a new mount for it. And you're going to have to get a mount for it that will either accommodate these four screw holes, which you will, you know, this is a common a common inexpensive capsule deck screw hole situation. What you should get is you should get a mount. Let me show you the one I used. Um, I had a spare one. Um, you, you should get a mount that has a single screw hole in the bottom. It'll be a lot easier, and then that way you can attach it to the capsule deck. And of course, again, if this is all uh, nerd speaking over your head, then this is probably a little bit beyond your capabilities currently. So um, you'll have to figure out how to attach this saddle. You can either do it here on this one. You can remove this. This is really getting difficult, right? You see there's a screw there. You can take that screw out, and then you'll be left with the mount, and then you'll have to epoxy this onto that, which you can do. Leave it epoxied for 24 hours, and it should be fine because uh, there's no way to screw this on here, or you'll have to get a new capsule mount or make something. Be creative. Um, but once you do that, once you fix the capsule mount problem, you can put the K47, the flat K47 in there and get this. And so again, the flat K47 capsule is what? $109 currently. This microphone, this microphone, the Bivaly V47 to me, to, to my door it was 125 bucks. So again, with shipping tax, et cetera, it was sub 250. So even let's say if it was 300 bucks to get this microphone for 300 bucks with a little bit of effort, a little bit of soldering, and then, you know, a little bit of MacGyvering, getting this, this done. That's a, that's a hell of a deal, man. So I think, and again, let me reiterate, in case you missed it during my manic explanation of all this. This mount will accommodate uh, most um, edge-terminated capsules, all right? So you can, if you want to put a, an edge-terminated capsule in here, which will most... Mo <laughs> Most inexpensive edge terminated capsules will definitely smoke the original cheapy crap capsule that comes in the V47. So even if you just do that, you can fit that on this mount. It becomes a lot easier. But if you want to go next level with it, if you want to go totally premium with it, Arian Audio Flat K47, MacGyver the mount, 
figure it out. And you get this. Um, you'll have to figure that stuff out for yourself. But it's easy. Just, you know, go to group DIY, Google it. You can find these mounts, you know, on AliExpress. Uh, you can find them uh, through group DIY. Ask people. Um, I don't really know of a good source other than that. I just had a bunch of spares from when you destroy, when you destroy a bunch of microphones like I have trying to mod them and build them, you have a box of spare parts. And luckily I had one that would fit. And, um, so overall, I mean, listen to this, this sounds, this definitely sounds a lot better than a $300 microphone. I would put this up against any of the, the, the Telefunken, what the TF 11, I would put this up against a lot of microphones that are probably about a near grand. I think this sounds really, really great. So I think the Bifaley V47 is a decent mic on its own. Not great. Um, may not get you where you want to go, but it is to me, I think, probably one of the best mic modding donor body platforms. When you consider the really good shock mount you get, the kit is great. The body is great, um, really well made. Even, you know, even the badge, the badge looks good. You know, <laughs> who cares what the name on it is? No, honestly, look, what it doesn't matter what name is on your microphone. All The only thing that matters is how it sounds. And this sounds great. So you put this microphone up in a session. I don't think anybody's going to complain about it. I think people are going to be like, what the heck is that, man? That sounds awesome. But that's my opinion. What's your opinion? All right, let me know. Leave a comment. Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto and MCOT, Fading to Black.